Good morning and welcome to St. Matthew's and morning prayer on this Monday, the 18th day of January. Today we will celebrate, along with the national holiday, uh, the life of Martin Luther King Jr. And uh, we'll read about him during the service. Morning Prayer Rite 1 begins on page 42 of the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with the Invitatory Psalm. This morning we will read together the Venite, beginning on page 44. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. <clears throat> we continue with the psalm appointed for today. That is a portion of Psalm 77, beginning at the 11th verse. Uh, the psalm begins on page 693. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your acts and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who works wonders and have declared your power among the peoples. By your strength you have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and trembled. The very depths were shaken. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered. Your arrows flashed to and fro. The sound of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, and your paths in the great waters. Yet your footsteps were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. We continue with the gospel passage assigned for today. It's a reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, beginning at the 27th verse. But I say to you that, but I say to you that listen, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the treat, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if another takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you, lead to the, if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much gain. But love your enemies. Do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. The Word of the Lord. We continue with Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, Great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you. 
because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On this Monday, we, our nation celebrates the life of Martin Luther King Jr. and uh, remember him. Uh, it's interesting, the, uh, the official date in, the, uh, in our church uh, uh, lectionary is listed as January 15th, but that is, Martin Luther King Jr. actually has two dates listed, January 15th, which is the anniversary of his birthday, but Anglican and Episcopal tradition usually honors most saints on the day of their death, or in this case, the day of their martyrdom, which was, is known as their heavenly birthday. So for Martin Luther King Jr., that is April 4th. Um, but since most of the rest of the Christian world seems to honor uh, birthdays, at least in the United States, um, that's the day that we have landed on. And instead of the 15th this past Friday, we're uh, celebrating on the day of our national holiday. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15th, 1929 in Atlanta. As the son and grandson of Baptist preachers, he was steeped in the black church tradition. To this heritage, he added a thorough academic preparation, entering, earning the degrees of BA, BD, and PhD in systematic theology from Boston University. In the year 1954, King became pastor of a church in Montgomery, Alabama. There, black indignation at inhumane treatment on segregated buses culminated in December 1955, in the arrest of Rosa Parks for refusing to give up her seat to a white man. King was catapulted into national prominence as the leader of the Montgomery bus boycott. He became increasingly the articulate prophet who could not only rally the black masses, but could also move the consciousness of whites. King founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference to spearhead nonviolent mass demonstrations against racism. Many confrontations followed, most notably in Birmingham and Selma, Alabama, and in Chicago. King's campaigns were instrumental to the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, 1965, and 1968. King then turned his attention to economic empowerment of the poor and opposition to the Vietnam War, contending that racism, poverty, and militarism were interrelated. King lived in constant danger. His home was dynamited, he was almost fatally stabbed, and he was harassed by death threats. He was even jailed 30 times, but through it all, he was sustained by his deep faith. In 1957, he received late at night a vicious telephone threat. Alone in his kitchen, he wept and prayed. He relates that he heard the Lord speaking to him, saying, Martin Luther, stand up for righteousness, stand up for justice, and promising never to leave him alone. No, never alone. King refers to his vision as his mountaintop experience. After preaching at Washington Cathedral on March 31, 1968, King went to Memphis to support, in support of sanitation workers in their struggle for better wages. Then he proclaimed that he had been to the mountaintop and had seen the promised land, and that he knew that one day he and his people would be free at last. On the following day, April 4th, he was cut down by an assassin's bullet. Martin Luther King Jr., who we remember on this day. Our service continues as we together stand to recite, to affirm our faith, reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. We begin with the Lord's Prayer, followed by Suffrages A. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, sh Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. Almighty God, who by the hand of Moses thy servant didst lead thy people out of slavery and didst make them free at last, grant that thy church, following the example of thy prophet Martin Luther King Jr., may resist oppression in the name of thy love and may strive to secure for all thy children the blessed liberty of the gospel of Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who has made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and did send thy blessed Son <clears throat> to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee, bring the nations into thy fold, pour out thy Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pause a moment to offer our own prayers and thanksgivings. We give thanks for this national day where we think about reconciliation, especially racial uh, healing and justice. We pray for peace in our land. We pray for harmony and for growth uh, in our understanding of one another and our ability to show our love for one another and that love can overcome estrangement and hate. We pray for all those lives that are linked closely to ours. We pray for the health of our community and of our nation. And we pray for peace in the world and for leadership among our world leaders. We take a moment to offer our own prayers and thanksgiving. Gracious God, for all our prayers spoken and those that reside deep in our hearts, we lift them up to you this day. We conclude our service by saying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love, in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeigningly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. 
Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining Morning Prayer today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.